A really, really special guest this morning of the very handsome, very, very talented singer, songwriter, producer, movie star, T- TV show host. TV now show too. host. He's not bad. He's got handles. Yeah, pretty good at ball. Backup dancer for Beyonce. It is. Have you seen him dance? <laughs> he does have some moves too. Yeah. Vince Harder joining us on the show. Come on, guys, bro. That that was a that was an intro. <laughs> Wow, thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for coming on. Um, <laughs> great to have you back on the show. Um, Vince, you got a brand new song out with um, Mr. Stan Walker. Yes, yes. It's um, Yeah, it was uh, awesome. I mean, he's he's such a great guy to collaborate with. We've been working together for a long time. And um, yeah, it's been cool. It's been cool getting some music out. It's been awesome. That's a powerful song, though. Human. Yeah. Uh, just reading a couple of lyrics from the, from the song. Mm-hmm. You know life, I know it can be hard. It's playing underneath mm-hmm. us at the moment, and it might seem much easier in the dark, but there's a better way. You got to know who you are. Do you mm-hmm. have an input in the songwriting here? Um, so when Stan and I get together, it's always let's go have a jam in the studio, and then it just turns into something, you know. So um, our energy in the studio is just like whatever happens, happens. But uh, the one thing I know with Stan is that he's a storyteller. He loves to, you know speak on his experiences and that and you know we share share, uh, share quite a bit in terms of um um you know our life and our upbringing and our journey and how we have got to where we are so um this particular song we wanted to share about um you know i guess uh, something that was close to our heart and you know mental health is a, is a is a very big thing for us and wanting to share a little bit more about you know our experiences growing up and um for him, this song was, you know, uh, something he wanted to share in terms of impacting his story as well. He's got a book out that shares about his life and that. And so I think it was just kind of sharing a bit more of that through the song. When you see Stan Walker come out with a book, does it make you want to write a book, Vince? Me? Oh, wow. <laughs> life story. Um, it doesn't make me want to write a book, <laughs> book I don't think. But, um, yeah, I, I, that's a big task, eh? <laughs> but, um. I, I just I just think he's such a brave person and 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 a, a great you know um, example of someone who you know has come out of you know nowhere come out of nothing and is you know is just wanting to help people through his music you know and heal through his music and so this song is is one of those songs as well and I'm just grateful to be a part of it. It's pretty cool seeing the um, like vulnerability I guess and you know you're talking about his book and stuff as well. There's you know him mm. being real honest with his story and you know being yeah. able to do that through your music. I also saw um, Vince where I was watching that Scribe documentary that's on um, TVNZ um, that sort of like documents yeah. and you know coming back into music and and sort of that restoration of of his story. What was it like mm. being a part of that whole um, sort of picture and I guess. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, how hard it is being in the public spotlight when you've got your own issues going on and you're talking about mental health with this song, like dealing with mm-hmm. that in front of everybody? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, uh, with the Scribe doco, it, it was crazy because I, I actually went on to uh, kind of share a little bit about how I knew about him. Um, there was a lot of footage that wasn't um, shown in the doco, but um there was actually a lot, once I started watching it, there was a lot I didn't really know about his story as well. I mean, I knew that he went through that stuff and with the police and, you know, his addiction and things like that, but um, I actually didn't know how deep it went. And it was actually um, crazy to see, you know, how, it, you know, just his story from upbringing all the way up to now, you know. Um, for me, I, I think I can relate because, you know, growing up in, uh, you know, Polynesian family in, in New Zealand in the you know, 80s and 90s, uh, just having to kind of navigate through life, you know, um, my parents, especially having to kind of learn about how to deal with their, you know, their, their children living in a, you know, in this place. And, um, you know, I kind of came up against all, all different odds. So, um, I think for, you know, for us, we're a, you know, a bit of a minority, you know, um, growing up out West and, and kind of learning through that. But I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just, I just felt like, you know, just watching that book, I could relate a lot to it. Um, and him being a friend as well, I just wanted to share about how much, you know, you know, he was, you know, he, he was going through and stuff. So, so yeah, yeah, it's been, it's, it's, uh, I think for me, mental health is, you know, it's definitely an important thing. Um, I definitely want to, um, be able to share through it and through the music and through that docker was a, you know, it was a great thing to be a part of. Mm. Talking about against the odds, Vincey, uh, we're mm-hmm. in, you know, with what's happening here in Aotearoa and around the world with the pandemic, I mean, you make a living out of producing singing songwriting 
a little bit of dancing here and there. <laughs> <laughs> so how how has that impacted you in in your living? Yeah. Oh man, it's um yeah, it's been crazy. I I, I guess you know I haven't really had a um as many gigs as I would used to, you know, before COVID. But um things have just been starting and stopping. You know, there've been there've been gigs that have been cancelled, and um I, but you know I've just had to adapt. I've just had to find ways to kind of you know make money and and live and put food on the table and um um i think a good thing for me has been producing music um sharing more music online is you know there's obviously lots of ways to be able to do that now than there has been but um yeah it's been it's been tough but um in saying that like we i i feel like soon we're going to be coming out of it and um um i'm actually going to be going away real soon going to australia to do to jump on some more um gigs over there so um that's been a bit of a blessing to kind of see that kind of open up and a lot of kiwi artists are doing that so it's a you know, it's 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 getting a bit better. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. Do you find yeah. um, do you find Vince as you get sort of a bit older and you become more of like a you know I know you got family and um, we were talking before about how you know schools and kindies and everything keep getting closed because of COVID contacts and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Do you find as as you sort of mature, like the content of what you're writing about, what you're singing about, changes quite a lot? Because I feel like. You know, last some of your last few songs and stuff we've been playing and listening to have really maybe there's like a new level of kind of depth and honesty to them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, man, we're talking about age a lot. I'm I'm approaching uh I'm approaching the forties right now, <laughs> <laughs> which is um, you know, very very. I'm being honest with myself. You know, I'm 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 heading that way, which is um, which is awesome though. Like uh, I'm I'm embracing it, but um. Yeah, I I feel like uh, now I just wanted to kind of you know in terms of my music just share a bit more and, and tell a bit more about you know where I'm at and um, uh, particularly like there's a song that I, I wrote with my wife um, during lockdown um, and you know this goes a bit deeper into you know what I've been going through but my daughter was um, diagnosed um, with uh, type one diabetes uh, May 2020 and so that was a huge shock to us huge shock to our system and um, I thought I knew what diabetes was you know growing up in a uh, um, Polynesian family where I've you know I've come in contact with people who have type 2 but um, this is a totally different thing and um, you know I learned about um, how it's an autoimmune disease and when my daughter had um, was diagnosed with it it was yeah it was just crazy so I had to learn this new normal mm. how to look after a type 1 diabetic and um, yeah yeah it's just it's 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 been it's been crazy and so we we decided to um to write a song to kind of share a bit more about that and um and kind of raise some awareness around type ones and what they deal with and also the the technology that's out there to kind of help them so yeah give that a bit of a plug the technology that you're after do you want to make it available to to all families because it's quite pricey do you want to mention Mm, it yeah no absolutely um so um last year i think it was last year we went to a technology conference and they shared about all this um new tech that they have that helps type 1 diabetics and um there's a um, device called a cgm it's a continuous glucose monitor and you can stick it on the back of your arm and what it does is it reads your uh blood glucose levels and um if you have that then you basically um miss out on on getting six to ten um blood pricks a day and and for little ones, that's a lot, you know, like that, um, you know, our, our, our one, when we were a blood prick, you know, would give her, you know, at least 10 pricks during the day. And then even at night, having to read her levels at night, you know, would be worried about, you know, mm. what her levels would be. And if she goes too high or too low, we can't tell. So we'd have to wake up every, nearly every hour to, wow. to blood prick her and check her levels. And so what this technology does is it helps us to act, basically get a good night rest and not have to worry about it. And, and we can read. The levels on our phone and um it alarms us if she goes too low and it alarms us if she goes too high and so it's it's an amazing piece of technology and what we're doing with the song and even with um the current um campaign that's happening with diabetes new zealand right now is we're, we're sharing awareness but we're also trying to you know um let the government know that we need these funded in new zealand because yeah we need them they're, they're just they're they're, they're life-saving tech for 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 our um for our type one uh community out there Awesome. Um, yeah, that's like game changing, eh? Having Absolutely. like real time, you know, levels yeah. that you can just check. You don't have to go through the whole rigmarole of the whole thing. That song, by the way, has been super yeah. popular on um, Life FM. Overwhelmed, we've been jamming it. Oh man, thank you so much for sharing it. Yeah, that's no, cool. Well, thanks for your time this morning, Vincey. Uh, it's really, really cool to see you, uh, and and for what you're doing, not only for uh, 
the music community, but raising awareness around type 1 diabetes. Uh, take care of yourself, bro. My number hasn't changed, and Bjorn's number Yeah, yeah, changed, yeah. So I'm still us. waiting for that um, one-on-one. I don't know about uh, Russell Westbrook, bro, but... Um... <laughs> It's funny that name that, used, sh- that used to be a compliment a few years ago, but now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, take care of yourself, Vince.